Hi friends, it's me, Megan, and me, Jessie. Megan, guess what special job I got to do at school today? Ah, hmm. Were you in charge of turning on the lights? Nope, even better. Today, I was the line leader. Being the line leader is a very important job. I even got to wear a special button. Wow, Jesse, that's fantastic. Being the line leader sounds like a big job. It sure is, Megan. It was my job to make sure my friends got to the playground, lunch, and our classroom. I followed the teacher, and then my friends followed me. Your job as a line leader reminds me of a man in the Bible named John who also had an important job. I remember John. Isn't he the guy who ate locusts and wild honey? <laughs> yep, that's the same guy. He had the important job of getting people ready for Jesus. Wowie, that sounds like a way more special job than the line leader. It was Jesse, and many people came from all over to listen to John and be baptized by him. Let's watch to learn about a time someone very surprising went to John to be baptized. Jesus' cousin John lived in the wilderness, far away from the city. His clothes were made out of camel's hair, and his belt was made of leather. When John was hungry, he ate locusts and wild honey. Many years before John was born, Isaiah the prophet said, Someone is shouting in the wilderness. He says, Get ready for the Lord. Make way for him. Isaiah had been talking about John. John had a very important job. He was supposed to get people ready for Jesus, the Messiah God promised. People listened to John and they started to repent. They were sorry for their sins and asked God to forgive them. Then John baptized them in the Jordan River. John said, someone greater than me is coming. I am not good enough to even untie his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with God's spirit. Now Jesus was in the land of Galilee. He went to see John the Baptist at the Jordan River. Jesus asked John to baptize him. John was surprised. He did not think he should baptize Jesus. John said, I need you to baptize me. Why do you want me to baptize you? John only baptized people who were sorry for their sins. Jesus never sinned. Jesus said, let me be baptized. God says this is the right thing to do. So John baptized Jesus. When Jesus came up from the water, the sky opened and Jesus saw God's spirit coming down on him like a dove. Then God's voice came from heaven. This is my son, the voice said. I love him and I am very happy with him. Jesus never did anything wrong, but he was baptized like sinners are baptized. Baptism reminds us that Jesus died and came back to life. People who know and love Jesus are baptized to show they are following Jesus.